so holy moly good goddamn that's the start of the new um doctor who series um it'll be series nine series nine episode one just aired um or i just caught it on catch up the the same night and yeah okay so after last season being a bit of a washout and me going mm, well whatever not not so fast yeah they've started this one with a bang um they've gone straight in it's had missy it's got davros it's got daleks it's got old school daleks it's got scarrow i yeah i am in like from the last season be like we have a dinosaur and the old comedy scooby goo do gang this one's got we've got all the major villains <laughs> So, yeah, I've been really pleased with that. So, we're quickly running through it from the start. The the, the teaser before the, the show, uh, before they, they run the, 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 the starting credits, um, you know, it starts off and it shows a couple of soldiers fighting a biplane with gas masks and bows and arrows and stuff. And I went, that's Scarrow. That is so Scarrow like. Just, just from the costume they were wearing, I could tell that was Scarrow. Um, and then you see the hand mines they were calling them which like drag you down onto the earth and i went that looks like something davros would make but then when the doctor turns up and starts trying to save the kid i went but that's davros and then yes it was davros it was child davros and then it sort of cut there so i really liked that that was really cool real genesis of the daleks sort of stuff um totally totally loved that then they went um, and then from there it goes into um, sort of Clara getting dragged to unit because all the planes have stopped and going and finding Missy. I like that they could have sort of got Missy out of the way quickly and just sort of went, yeah, she's still alive. We're making her quite major, which is kind of nice. They've got a good good actress doing it. They know, um, I think we're sort of, looks like we're going to have a sort of relationship between the Doctor and Master, which is sometimes very fun, much more like John Pertwee um, did with the Master. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name who played the master then, but yeah, they had a big running um, rivalry and it looks like we're going to get another one of those. I ain't complaining about that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, they stopped the planes, which is just a MacGuffin, really, to get her to go to unit and then go and find the, the, the Missy. Um, I like the new woman doing... Um, Oswin's job? I can't remember what she, she was called. The um inhaler girl again I, I said although she was a fun character she wasn't a keeper she was too much of a stereotype for her to be solid and i felt a little bit this is going to sound re i don't know whether this sounds weird or not but she's almost a little bit of taking the piss out of their own fan base you know i don't know whether that's really something they want to do um but fuck it so yeah no they, they've got rid of her and they had some middle-aged woman middle-aged right yeah yeah probably some middle-aged woman doing the techie stuff and she was fine actually she seemed a lot more sensible for the role if that made sense and yeah she's just someone in the background shouting numbers fine job done we still had mrs brigadier <laughs> i'm still just gonna call her that because i can't remember lethbridge stewart there we are mrs lethbridge miss lethbridge stewart doing her thing and she was good she was she did her job well as always she she she's a keeper like i really like her and yeah they went and find missy and clara has a convo with her um which was cool i think it sort of sets up missy and it sort of started setting up the dynamic a bit more um complete random aside but what the hell is going on with clara's eyebrows they are huge this is something i i have complained about in multiple movies like um, maleficent and cinderella and just numerous things of what the fuck is it with like having slugs strapped to your head so um that was just something that i'm just watching it going what the fuck has she done to her eyebrows those need to be sorted out that's terrible but there we go um and they go and find the doctor who's having a party um that's really funny <laughs> actually that amused me um and yeah and it's all just dicking about actually and it's making bad jokes about fish tanks and things and none of it was very important but it, it was amusing and the random aside with that it looks as though Peter Compaldi was actually playing that guitar 
So I don't think he he possibly can't play it that well, but he plays well enough to be able to mime sensibly. So that was cool. Um, a bit I left out because the <laughs> roast pork face turns up at the party. Now he was sort of they do this at the start, um, which is a bit I've skipped, where he's wandering around looking for the doctor. And they go to Khan, I think the planet's called, where the, the sisters who make the regeneration elixir live. And it was cool to see them again. That was a nice little, nice little fan service there. I liked that. Um, but yeah, they had this sort of villain who looks like he was on a cyborg. <laughs> you know, he's in a robe, but he's on a cyborg, like, buzzing about the place. He's got, like, a wee segue under there, because he's fucking lazy, um, buzzing about the place. And I think he was supposed to sort of have a Cenobite sort of look to him. Um, he had these sort of lines across his face, and I think he was supposed to look, like, scarred. But yeah, he, like, unravels, and he's, he's a snake man, all tangled up. But for... <laughs> Both me and the missus agree that it looked like he had ro roast pork for a face. So that may be, yeah, one of those, good try, good effort. No, that was just looked really silly. He also just looked really pudgy in it as well because of the way it sort of was supposed to cut in that it made his cheeks all squidgy. So yeah, he looks like a chubby little, chubby little minion. But the idea with the snakes, it was a cool idea. I totally see what they were trying to go for. Actually, it's just me giggling at it. Um, and they go and find Davros. Um, and they're on the space station. Um, now, it's a couple of bits that are really cool here is, yeah, Missy sort of go, you know, they, they, they sort of do gravity. It's gravity. We're going to be, you know, gravity, gravity. What's about gravity? She's like, well, it's real gravity. This isn't artificial gravity. We're not on a space station. It's a planet. And they bust open the airlock. I like I like that. Let's make jam um, jokes that Missy made. That just amused me. Because <laughs> jam, jam, jam. Go and watch Jam Hammer. Um, that, so that was cool. Um, so, yeah, again, Missy's doing a really good job in that role on this one. Um, and yeah, and they're on Scarrow, really, is what it comes down to. They are on Scarrow. Um, and I, it was great, because <laughs> they go, it's Scarrow, and then this the home of the Daleks, that is correct, and this Dalek comes over the hill. And it's a f <laughs> and I literally screw the television, oh, it's pure old school! Because <laughs> it's a really old-fashioned Genesis of the Daleks, Dalek that turns up and takes them in and they've got all these different old school Daleks and new school and in between. I wonder if they're going to bring back the fucking Skittles Daleks. That's a good question because the Skittles Daleks sort of, they, they made them going, look, we're going to do lots of clever things with these, like, you know, the, the mind that, you know, and they're almost fucking like Infinity Stone Daleks. But everyone, I think everyone <laughs> took the piss too much so they gave up on the idea. On the basis of it being like, oh, <laughs> you know, fear the rainbow, go red Dalek Ranger and shit like that. So I think they've maybe, I don't, I don't think we've seen them <laughs> since they made them. So yeah, I think they've maybe got shit canned. Never mind. And yeah, and then they murder all the cast. And then, you know, they murder Missy. And they murder Clara. And they blow up the TARDIS. And then it shows the Doctor going back and murdering Davros as a child. Or at least about to. And then it ends and on a really good cliffhanger. And I think the... Um, teaser for the next episode was very good as well. In that... It, mm, no idea what's going to happen, but it's talking about, um, you know, very much almost about taking charge of the Daleks and almost having like, you know, maybe this is more like with him being handed a Cyberman army. Is he about to be given the fucking Daleks as an army? That would be interesting. I don't know. That's probably gibberish. But yeah, it was a really good ep, actually. I think on this one, I'm going to call after the whole of last season being really lackluster. That was a really really strong start i just hope it doesn't do a really i just hope it keeps it up now that it doesn't do like they did with the bloody silent series where it's like we have spent an entire series per, per, you know talking up the silence 
that we're just going to have them turn up and defeat them within the first two episodes. You know, I hope it doesn't that do that. I hope we get a you know this is a you know they got a double epper. They're doing a double epper. Let's have a really good you know keep that momentum. Let's keep this going. Please, please, the love of God, make this a good season because last season wasn't fair on Peter Capaldi. Um, acting on this one, yeah, everyone was good. Pork chop face was a bit stupid, um, but everyone else was really funny. I liked they had um the. That was only another complaint, but this is just me. They had the human Dalek drones. I don't know how to describe them, but yeah, there's a one of the guys in the medieval party who finds the thing and he turns around and he's got the Dalek stalk out of his head. And that's just the stupidest fucking looking thing ever. Like, I, I totally get, like, maybe having the Dalek eye, like, just there, but having the actual stalk just looks really, really silly. And yeah, so, but no, oh well, they, that's kind of canon now. That happens. They did an episode of d doing that. So, what you going to do? Um, but yeah, Peter Capaldi did a great job. You know, he turned to up in medieval times on a tank playing the electric guitar and making tank jokes. And it was, yeah, absolutely loved that. So Peter Capaldi did a really good job in this. He he is he is an excellent actor and he does really well as the Doctor. He you know, and and it's nice to see him getting given the chance to really shine at it. I really like the Missy in this. After me, you know, I think this is one of the things that after me saying, you know, I complained last time where I was a bit like, why have they made it a girl? <sighs> but but I've now you know, it's done now. You know, I question the initial decision but it's done now so i'm dealing with it and actually she was really funny and she <laughs> yeah and some of the lines she was coming out with were yeah she she got some of the best lines actually she really got to, to show off and was doing really funny things like mucking about playing with the acoustics in the room like singing in the room and in in the jail cell on scarrow and stuff so yeah now that I've sort of come to terms with it and been like, yeah, all right, that's something that we're doing now. She's doing a really cracking job at it. You know, I am happy that, you know, I do think, you know, if they were going to get a woman to play it, she's doing it absolutely brilliantly. So happy with that. Clara was there. Clara was Clara. She sort of did her thing um, of being sort of quite nonchalant, yet at the same time really quite scared of the situation she's in. You can sort of see that, that she's very was very much masking the fear, which is good acting on her part, actually. You know, it's quite hard to be sort of that, you know, to sort of show that I'm trying, you know, I am, you know, I can, I can cope in this situation, but my God, I'm shitting myself. So, yeah, I think she actually did quite well. Again, I think it's just the way they've written the character is not great. And again, just what was the fuck was wrong with her eyebrows? <laughs> I like Davros. They did the guy doing Davros did a really good job. So yeah, overall, I'm just just from the last season being so lackluster, that was brilliant. Really, really good. I am, yeah, I am now on board for the next season. Like from you know, yeah, going that Scaro. That's not one of Davros's creations. No correction. That's Davros. Yes, fucking knew it. Um, clever me. You know. Oh, that's pure old school. <laughs> I think that's what we get from this one. Yeah. If if an episode of Doctor Who gets me shouting, ah, oh, it's pure old school. I'm happy. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Season season nine. I'm in. Let's do it. Like all the way. Let let let. I hope the season keeps this momentum. Absolutely love it. So that's that. I'll see you next week for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate.